How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a coffee stout time in the form of Maine Brewing Company's Fall Coffee Stout. Uh, I have never had a coffee stout from Maine. I'm kind of really intrigued by this. I've had a couple of their stouts before. Uh, what's the one named after the gorilla? I forget the name of that one. I've had that one. I had a couple different ones, um, but never any kind of like adjunct base beer. This might be the first adjunct beer I've had from uh, from Maine Brewing Company. Yeah. Let's see what the sucker's all about. Uh, it is a bah, 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 month and a half old, 5.6% alcohol by volume coffee stout. Now, um, I think I paid, I forgot what I paid for this. Six and change. Um, I mean, if you add it up, you have like a 16.9 ounce bottle here. You're talking about a, you know, low to mid 24 pack of beer. Uh, a lot of people would say that's kind of pricey, but... It's one of the exceptions to the rule where pricing doesn't really get too far and away from me for main beers because I know how much they do for the environment and for their employees, so I have no problem with that price point that they are throw out there. As far as the label goes, it is quintessential. Main, very simple, to the point, nothing too crazy. Let's put it this way. I love their labels. Anyway, as far as that beer goes, I mean, she looks like a you know nice low ABV sound. Couldn't say there's coffee in there. Doesn't really look like your coffee style. What does coffee look like? Is there like coffee beans floating out of it? I don't know. But no, she looks like a nice, rich, creamy kind of stout or porter. Let's get a nose. There's like a really kind of chocolate macchiato thing going on here. Not overly roasted. A little bit of cream vibes. I'm getting a slight hint of that little bit of metallic astringency thing I'm so susceptible to. But it smells like a nice a chocolate leaning, very softly roasted uh, kind of stouter porter, <sighs> rich chocolate malts that give way to a little bit of bittering malts that give way to a little bit of kind of varying degrees of other kind of chocolate malts, like a little bit of kind of, um, like a little bit of soft milk chocolate, a little bit of baker's chocolate, all that kind of stuff floating around in there. Um, that's what gives that kind of macchiato thing going on. Cause there is the coffee portion of the show. There is a subtle bittering to it, but nothing overly bittering, nothing overly impactful. It's not soothe, smooth and creamy and more like a, a coffee ice creamy vibe more than anything else. Yeah. Done and done. But here's the thing. I, I, you know, just kind of swirling it a little bit, got on the edge here, and it's uber sticky. So I think it's going to come off a little bit sweet. Cheers. No, not sweet at all. Actually, quite bittering. Um, bittering from the roast of malt, bittering from hops, bittering from the coffee. I do have a little bit, just a touch of that metallic thing. Again, I am highly susceptible to it, so more often than not, you're probably not going to get any of it. And it does have this nice rich coffee thing that definitely leans in that kind of somewhere between like a macchiato and uh, kind of a coffee ice cream kind of vibe. Very different from what you typically get from a lot of coffee based stouts nowadays. When you get coffee based stouts, it's a lot of cold press action. It's a lot of super high impactful kind of coffee in your face. With this, you're getting a super sultry, creamy, more like porter like kind of vibe to it. It's stout. But it has that little bit of extra creaminess, makes you think kind of milk stout, even though it is a base stout. So there's probably a heavy oat addition in here, um, bittering across the board. Uh, you know, it's a sweet beer for its ABV and the style of beer, but in the grand scheme of things, it's quite bittering and not in an over overly impactful kind of way. It's more that since you're getting bittering from a bunch of different directions, from the roasted malt, from the coffee, and from hops, it's spread across the whole beer in that you're getting depth and complexity of the bitterness as opposed to just straight bitterness in your face is nowhere close to like a cascadian dark ale or, or a hopped up kind of dark ipa and in that coffee roast adds this element to that creaminess that you get that kind of makes me want to lean in a lean in that ice cream direction to make me think of kind of like a think of a macchiato with a dollop of a coffee ice cream in there a coffee ice cream float in a, in, a, in, a, in a chilled macchiato if you will that's the way it's coming off to me in a very very gentle very well made very purposeful way this when I talked about coffee beers and how they come off nowadays so often it's a lot of two by four to the face and uh that's just not what Maine does. So when I dove into this, um, I kind of expected a little bit of kind of uh, a little bit more depth, a little bit more complexity, a little bit more of a reserved hand. Not necessarily reserved, maybe that's the bad way to put it, but something that isn't just volume 
Um, now, when I touched the edge and it was so sticky, I'm like, oh, maybe this is going to be a little bit sweet. But no, um, it is just exactly what I thought it would be, which is a really, really well-made um, low ABV stout porter um, with really meaningful, purposeful, but not overly impactful coffee with really cool kind of multi-faceted kind of multi-dimensional kind of bitterness to it. It's just a really good beer. And that's what um, Maine does is just do really good beer well-made beer and honestly like i said it's probably the first adjunct based beer i believe i've had for me and if this is any indicator guess what secrets out they kind of know what they're doing um so let's talk about it so one of the better coffee stouts that i've had as of late abv be damned yes um it might be eking up there towards mount rushmore status for me personally maybe just on the outside but brass tacks you're talking about the abv the way the coffee comes off that bitterness throughout the whole thing I'm a fan. Value and availability. I want to say it paid like six and change or something. I have no problem with that price point and leave you with if you like what will you like this beer? If you like stouts, if you like porters, if you like coffee beers, if you like well made beers, and you like breweries that are doing good things. Because that's what, you know, that's what Maine does. Uh, like I said at the get, I have no problem with this price point. A lot of people will be like, oh, I wish this came in, you know, four pack cans. That's me usually saying those things. Four pack cans for 16 bucks a pop. That would be great. But considering what they do and how they do it, I have no problem with it. So if you enjoy those things, this will definitely do you proper. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff. Beer Massive. If you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little uh, coffee stout right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.